since most of what follows is doggerel, and unrhymed doggerel at that, its performance should be kept within the bounds of a not unpleasant monotony, highlighted occasionally with touches of greater melancholy. A note of seriousness <laughs> imbued with piety would also be appropriate. In trite requiem eternam. Of course, for eternity, at any rate, may your servant Eric find peace, the peace of the righteous, of the warrior who has died in righteous war. Oh. 
Church of Art, where the long hoped for leader is Jesus. Epistle, je vous dévoile un mystère inouï. Au son de la trompette, un beau matin, nous renaîtrons en un clin d'œil. Notre poussière, en un instant, enfantera des corps incorruptibles, et tous les morts se lèveront de leur lit d'asticot des cendres froides du passé. I shall show you an incredible mystery. One fine morning, at the sound of the trumpet, we shall all be reborn in the twinkling of an eye. Our dust in one moment shall bring forth bodies incorruptible. All the dead shall rise from their maggoty beds, from the cold ashes of the past. <laughs> Oh, 
and Salambo ceaselessly reread. He imagines the Ginovini and vaulting straight into the sublime, he offers us Venusienne. It is, then is time for his Fils des Etoiles. way towards Arcueil. Gravissant la rue des Martyrs, soir après soir, moralement, il s'achemine vers Arcueil. Radio, éternel sera la mémoire du juste. Il ne connaîtra plus les ragots de ses pères. Non, jamais je n'ai craint de les mettre en pratique. Ces vérités qui, n'ayant l'air de rien, calment la mélodie du facile enthousiasme sans en casser le pied et les nôtres non plus. The memory of the just is everlasting. He will never know the malice of his peers. The fact is, I have never hesitated to put into practice these truths that seem so trifling, but that moderate the tunefulness of easy enthusiasm without breaking its stride or our backs. <laughs> Délit du rire de l'idiot, l'âme 
si mince de Socrate, libère son démon du haut de tes nues, et pitié de ce chauve à l'orgnon qui ne fut de naissance par pure bienséance. Unbind from the laughter of half wits, the spare soul of Socrate set his demon free. From thy cloudy perch take pity on his pass-nade baldness which out of pure decency he had from first infancy. Stay away from K. 
cafes, hard words, free of all remorse, spoken in a solemn tone by one who never stared out of them for long. In the year 1925, up to the 1st of July, all Paris was in ecstasy over a fabulous phallophone, an instrument, incidentally, quite unplayable.
pitié, nous t'en prions, ton serviteur Eric, de son état jadis compositeur, au nom duquel nous te vouons en pleine expiation de nos fautes de goût, la louange de cette hostie que par ce sacrifice au sens originel de ta majesté musicienne lui soit accordé le repos le long du chant de ton éternité. Have mercy, we beseech thee. On thy servant Eric, erstwhile composer. In whose name we consecrate to thee in fullest expiation of our lapses of taste. Our praise of this house 